What's good? What's happening? What's cracking everybody? It's your boy KG and I'm back with another video. Today we have the poll results for that poll video I posted. I privated it so more people wouldn't actually vote on it after it was over. However, for you do, who, guys who do remember, who do know, who have voted, here are the results of the 3,600 person poll. Not characters. That's not that many characters. But the people who voted on it, the turnout was great. The original poll made by Calumet's, I believe, was 550. It peaked at 550 around there so this poll has done wow oh, math math 5 35 at least 70 times better seven times better seven times better seven times better i've been out of college this is what happens when you drop out of college kids stay in school however not even however this poll is a great turnout. There is no however. This is great. This is beautiful. So we're going to go into these results. Um, I'm actually very happy how it turned out. It's pretty expected. Some characters, there's only like two or three characters that surprised me. But besides that, let's just jump into it. I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. Boom. All right. So at, the, at number one, Jimmy Neutron. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't be any other way the top three on uh, top four i would honestly even say that in the top six shouldn't be any other way so yeah jimmy neutron beautiful love it number two jenny wakeman she was number one in that first poll but uh what sparked my interest in this so much was a discussion like people were talking about jenny's really popular and i was like okay i i would agree she's very popular most popular in this discord like this this discord this group of people but if you were to expand outward the poll results would probably look differently like jenny probably wouldn't be at the top and jimmy jimmy's at the and jenny said not at the top she's number two however she's close to the top so she still is very popular i never said she wasn't completely popular but i would i i my point was i would think that there are other characters that would go above her or her 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 because it, it was like a i would say it was a super crazy difference because the last poll was similar to this one with some differences and i really like this how this is made by uh kina or kina i don't know how to pronounce it. i think it's kina um user in the discord shout out to this this graphics really dope really really dope my goodness i love it the colors and everything beautiful um but yeah let's get, keep going timmy turner number three it's timmy turner bro i didn't expect nothing else i i want timmy turner myself so i this is all pretty expected i want these top three characters so far there's not many characters on here that i don't want squidward number four spongebob biggest cartoon on the planet makes sense hugh neutron kind of a meme pick but a lot of people want him like unironically which is okay my favorite meme pick is on here but i don't even consider them a meme pick here's the thing the, my one of my favorites are on here people are saying oh this is a meme pick no, it's, I don't think it's a mean pick, but hey, let's keep going. Zuko, for the longest time, I had a Zuko profile picture in uh, on Discord. Because one, I love Avatar The Last Airbender like most people do, or like a lot of people do. But Zuko being on here, it resonates with me. It's great. I love Zuko. I would love to see, and have him as like our firebender representation. That would be cool. I'd take Azula too. I would take Azula. I would not scoff at Azula, but uh, Zuko, beautiful, amazing. Um, Rocco, 90s rep, very popular. He's one of the few really popular 90s reps that are missing. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I want Rocco, not as much as a lot of other people want. I used to want him more, but it kind of just tapered off at over time. Uh, Crimson Chin, now this is surprising. He actually shot up the ranks to where Calumet's had to like try and figure out if somebody was like trying to doctor the hole or something. So no, that was not the case. This is all legit. Nobody put Crimson Chin higher. However, it was just surprising how many more people wanted him. Uh, Crimson Chin's cool. I take him, but not over Timmy. Poe. This is one of those things where it's just like, okay, this is a fan poll. So, of course, they'll have characters that were on Nickelodeon. Personally, myself, I don't think DreamWorks is folding, especially because how the money's tight. You know, the limit, the budget's still, you know, like we, a lot, the payout was great. Like, we, a lot of people bought the game. The, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The sales were great. But, you know, I don't think, I don't think they were that great. You know what I'm saying? The way they can go reach into like DreamWorks bag of characters. Mr. Krabs, same boat as Squidward, most popular cartoon in the world. I would love Mr. Krabs. I would love a Krusty Krabs stage. That would be awesome. 
and uh what's called ludosity already has like a money-based character i can't think of his name but he's in slap city and all his stuff is based around money and it's really it works really well plankton same boat literally same boat but this one's a little bit different because i i would love personally if plankton were to get in because a lot of people are like oh plankton and karen would be cool which it would plankton in a mech suit would be cool which it would or a robot suit would be cool however i kind of want kind of just just a little bit i would love for ludosity just to be like yo what if we just make like this super tiny character like he has some type of he has or maybe like a robot and you destroy the robot after a certain percent and he be, he's just like this super tiny dude and he dies super easy like he's like the weakest character in the history of um platform fighters that, i don't know something about that idea something like innovative like that to where he's just this fucking he's like this this big you know oh man that'd be great next Raphael, my favorite turtle uh, he's my favorite turtle i it hurt my heart that he wasn't in this game I, I i really can't even understand how um but Raphael, of course skipper literally the exact same boat with poe i liked his show i like both of their shows i like skipper i like the penguins of madagascar more but you know like i said that dreamworks bag i don't know what the money's looking like donatello I, I mean, you gotta have Raphael and Donatello. You can't have, th like, having two turtles is weird, but having three turtles is weirder. Having three turtles is, like, three turtles is really weird. So, you gotta have all four. If you got Raphael, you gotta have Donatello. Because, like, one of B's favorite, um, favorite turtles, Donatello. So, Otis. This was the meme pick I was talking about. I honestly want Otis. Not even as a meme pick. I genuinely want him in this game. I love, I love Back at the, at Back at the Barnyard. That's a great cartoon. That's has some of the best slapstick, like, I think it's one of the few 3D animated cartoons with, like, really good slapstick comedy. Because, like, other shows that have it are either not good or it's not much slapstick, you know? Uh, El Tigre. Lovely. I need, his combat potential's through the roof. Like, there's a few characters on here that their, their moveset potential is literally built into the character. Like, Jenny, Jimmy, Timmy, Zuko... Crimson Chin, Poe, like, Plankton, Raphael. Like, a lot of these characters have their moveset potential built in. Like, it's higher. That, here's the thing. I think every character that exists has moveset potential. If they exist, they've like, existed in a show long enough, they have moveset potential. However, that list, it's a spectrum. Like, some some characters have crazy moveset potential. El Tigre is one of those characters towards the top. He's up there. And especially, I don't think he's been in, like, a... a He's probably had some video games. He was fairly popular. He might have had one or two video games. I don't think he's been in anything modern in a while. And I don't know. A lot of these things going on like creative rights and legal issues and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. But El Tigre would be dope. For, like, in my opinion, he'd be great. Number 17, got Arnold. Like, it's, that's Arnold, bro. The show's called Hey Arnold. Helga in, being in the game, I will definitely say that was probably the better choice. Uh, because... Going back to that thing of moveset potential. If Helga, Helga is not the main character. It's literally Arnold's show. However, Helga's moveset potential is up here. Meanwhile, Arnold's moveset potential is maybe like right here. So, they both have it. She just had more of it. And there you go. Uh, Carl Weezer. Great pick. Uh, one thing about the Jimmy Neutron characters. Don't put any of them in if Jimmy's not in. I, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me so much. Like, you can do it. But I will not enjoy that. Um, but if it works out, because you're saying I'm not a game developer, I don't, I'm, I'm dumb. I don't know, you know, what the best option is. However, um, I will be, that, that'll, that'll irk my nerves. That'll grind my gears for sure. Snap from Chalk Zone. Now, I personally want Rudy and Snap or Rudy by himself over Snap. However, a Chalk Zone representative with a Chalk Zone stage or some Chalk Zone like mechanics, like make Snap like Game & Watch or something. That's a banger. That's that's fire. That's fire. Like that's a fire idea. That'd be really really cool. Um, I would, however, like some like chalk Im implementation. Like I don't know if Snap. I I haven't seen the show in years. I'm pretty sure Rudy's only. Well, I don't know if Snap can use the chalk himself. I know Rudy's like the best with it. He, he has the best imagination. But I don't know if Rudy. I mean, I don't know if Snap can also use the chalk. So I I have no clue. And then last but not least, number 20, the Angry Beavers. Now, the Angry Beavers are, I feel like, my most wanted 90s character. 
Yeah, out of between Rock and Angry Beavers, I'd actually personally want Angry Beavers more. Just because, like, the dynamic between them being, like, a Ice Climbers type duo. Like, we already have three duos. Technically, we got a we got a Pyramithra-like duo. We got a Banjo-Kazooie-like duo. And then you can have an Ice Climber duo. Have all three of those duos, you know. Like, of course, like, the Pyramithra one's, like, Cat Dog. Banjo and Kazooie's, like, Ren and Snippy. And this is just for the sake of, uh, you know, comparison. And then Angry Beavers could be like Ice Climber. So yeah, that would be cool. I really like their show. Love the personalities. I feel like their art style would mesh well into this game. I've seen some 3D like renders people have made online about like like fan made renders for like Angry Beavers and stuff like that. So hey, I I I love the Angry Beavers actually as like the next 90s rep. But that's just me. A lot of people want Rocco more. A lot of people want Doug, but Doug is like on my Disney, and that's gonna be like a Sora situation again. Um, maybe not. Because, like, they haven't done anything with Doug in however many years. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much the poll. That There it is right there. Uh, if you guys want to actually see it, I don't know if there's a place I can link it for you guys. If, definitely check out the Discord server. Uh, check out Speculation Chat. Just type in poll results and this image should pop up. Uh, and, or you just type in anywhere, like, in the search bar, poll results, and this image should pop up. Uh, there's a whole list that that i didn't really want to get into today because that was it's like there was only like there was like 70 characters 60 something plus characters and this would be like a 45 minute long video and i don't want to do that to you guys so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you are upset with this top 20 if your favorite's missing if somebody's too high and they're like no they don't deserve to be that high whatever whatever you want to say in the comments down below be toxic be nice try and be nice you don't have to be toxic however if you can't contain the toxicity and you have nowhere else to put it out, just put it out in the comments. But don't come at anybody directly. If you like put general toxicity like in the air, where there's a chance it won't hit nobody, do that. Because keeping toxicity in your body is not good. That'll take years off your life. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. It's been Kiji, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.